So yeah. what does the Office of Foreign Assets Control do and how does it how does it help? So what it is is it's, it's an arm of the US Department of Treasury okay and uh, and the US Department of Treasury um, administers and enforces uh, the use of this department uh, to impose uh, sanctions and controls, you know, like freezing assets. You've probably heard that before. Yes. Uh, on any one, and it doesn't have to be an individual. It could be, a, you know, a company. It could be um, a country. Yeah. Uh, anyone that has um, a potential uh, interest against our foreign policy or our national security um, interests. And so, you know, it doesn't have to be limited just to individuals, you know, f you know, but but generally the targeted countries uh, that, that, you know, the the search focuses on are, you know, uh, targets from North Korea, from Cuba, from Iran, uh, Ukraine, Russia, Syria. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it has to do with, um, you know, anything that's involved in terrorism or narcotic trafficking. Wow. Um, and so the, the, the whole, this, this whole process, this OFAC search is done um, uh, kind of behind the scenes. When, when, uh, when somebody is borrowing uh, money, for example, yep. uh, their lender will typically do an OFAC search. They're required to do it by, hmm. by the, uh, the government. Um, when, our, when somebody gives us a title search uh, request you know, on, yep. a, on, a, on a closing, a standard typical closing, the title insurance underwriters will do that that search. And what might they find, Ted? What could be something they well, would find? What they'll do is, um, and, and uh, I, I, what what I've done it before myself. So you Google OFAC, okay, mm -hmm. to come up with the search, and it's a uh, you come up with the website that the Department of Treasury has, um, and uh, you you have um, several fields that you can fill in information, you know, names. Obviously, um, social security numbers, um, uh, uh, addresses. This this is the um, the information that would typically open an, a a door to a potential hit. Um, and so, if somebody comes up on this search, um, and and you know, you have to understand too that uh, you know John Smith, for example, um, you know you might you might very easily come up with a hit because it's such a common name. Uh, so you have to do a little more digging. You can't just immediately assume that uh, the John Smith that's on your um, that comes up in your uh, transaction is a you know somebody that's wanted. Uh, you gotta you gotta do some further investigative work. But but what it would potentially come up is that they'd uh, it would come up as a hit, and then you'd have to report it to the authorities. And if it is, they, they what they, what the goal is is to to freeze the asset. You know it's it's imposing a sanction uh, so that the um, the uh, you know the asset can't be used. <laughs>